Welcome to Frederick County Public Schools' virtual art show. We hope you enjoy these creations by art students from each of Frederick County's elementary, middle, and high schools. Third grade artist Amiya Nyarko skillfully rendered this composition of a scarecrow. Amiya studied various techniques used by artists to establish an illusion of depth with their compositions before using these techniques in her piece. Amiya is a student at Armel Elementary School. Ben Burke, a seventh grade student at Admiral Richard E. Byrd Middle School, created this board game. Ben developed a visual rhythm, unity, and dimension by skillfully planning his dragon beyond the playing piece border. The medieval theme was chosen from Ben's own personal interests. Each image was carefully drawn with varied values of color or gray added with colored pencil or graphite. Art 3 student Lauren Henderson completed this abstract still life drawing using red ink and a variety of ink techniques. She abstracted the objects in the still life by rearranging them and varying the size and position of the objects to create emphasis and contrast within the drawing. Lauren is a student at James Wood High School. First grader Lachlan Barnhart learned about primary colors as well as different types of lines. Lachlan created an original playground using organic and geometric shapes, as many unique lines as possible, and the three primary colors. Lachlan used collage and drawing techniques to create his piece. Lachlan attends Apple Pie Ridge Elementary School. Reese Lassard used the name of this type of gourd, a penguin gourd, as inspiration for painting this three-dimensional piece as an aquatic flightless bird. It began as a muted tan gourd after washing the debris off the surface left by the dehydration process. Using tempera primary colors to achieve desired hues, her goal was to capture the essence of what a penguin is. After the paint was dry, she sealed the surface with a polyacrylic spray. Reese is an eighth grade student at Frederick County Middle School. In this artwork, sophomore Delaney LaFalse cut images into different colors of paper to create a Noten design. The word Noten is Japanese for light, dark, and is used to express balance in a composition. Delaney's artwork creates a detailed, balanced design that is pleasing to the eye. Delaney is a student at Millbrook High School. Riley Nail, a second grade student at Bass Hoover Elementary School, created this cute squirrel with a pink bow. Riley cut out a brown tree shape and added colorful line texture for the house. She also added a swirly tail and an acorn. 
Eighth grade James Wood Middle School student Lily Nail created this amazing abstract sculpture by layering and designing cardboard pieces. The goal of the project was to use the elements of art they had been learning all year into one final piece. The student exemplified that with lots of contrast, values, and colors. The mask is inspired by Pablo Picasso and his technique of drawing abstract faces. Junior Ryam Almansub created this drawing using organic shapes. Ryam incorporated various widths to her lines and shapes, creating a pleasing composition. Ryam finished her project by adding color utilizing watercolor paints. Ryam is an Art II student at Chirando High School. Second grader Emma Agosta created a mixed media landscape focused on the use of directional lines and secondary colors. With liquid watercolor, oil pastels, and collage paper, she created the traditional landscape and included a beach and sandcastle. Oil pastels were used to create a resist or marked areas to create clouds, fall leaves, and sand. The kite is made of scrapbook paper and use of directional lines to create the classic diamond kite shape. Emma is a student at Evendale Elementary School. Dobie, a McKenna Latin, is a mental repose piece with marker highlights. McKenna, an 8th grade art student at Robert E. Ayler Middle School, used special tools to carve into a square piece of thick aluminum. She then used marker to emphasize certain areas of her work. Art 3 student Brianna Poling created this drawing of old school cameras using a variety of pencil and color pencil techniques. She arranged the cameras in a creative format and added color pencil and a representation of old camera film to add contrast to the background. Brianna is a sophomore at James Wood High School. In this symmetrical drawing, fifth grader Blake Shepard from Gainsborough Elementary School used her first name as her starting point. She then used the principle of balance to create a mirror image of her name. Once her drawing was symmetrical, she created a cursive dragonfly from her name. Riley Woolley is a sixth grade artist who attends Admiral Richard E. Byrd Middle School. Riley developed this creation after studying and sketching figure proportions in class. She put this composition together with a few of her drawings as inspiration. A strong background and blended oil pastel helped create both interest and dimension. Sophomore Alia DeSimone sculpted this snowy creature in Art II class at Millbrook High School. In three days, the students used the pinch and pull method and two pounds of clay to complete the assignment. Mm -hmm. 
Alia chose acrylic paint over glaze because she wanted to be able to mix the colors like a painting. A family pet was the inspiration for this art journal cover design titled Puck the Cat by Moran Jacques. Using both permanent and watercolor markers, Moran created a sleek black cat in contrast to the stark white background. The play of positive and negative space and use of a bit of unexpected color in the eyes adds interest to her image. Moran is a fifth grade artist at Greenwood Mill Elementary School. Summer Amilpa's composition focuses on atmospheric perspective and pattern. She was successful in creating a layering effect to achieve the perspective and her use of light and dark allows certain elements to pop out of the page. Her pattern amongst the trees draws interest and presents a successful separation between the foreground and background. Summer is a seventh grade student at Frederick County Middle School. Grace Sager, a junior at Sharando High School, created this clay sculpture in her Art 4 class. It is inspired by the classic Victorian children's novel, Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Alice's side of the looking glass portrays Wonderland in a captivating psychedelic style, while the opposite side shows her magnified eye looking through the glass in black and white to contrast the bright colors of Wonderland. Indian Hollow Elementary third grader Harper Poole used different techniques to get color onto her paper. For the background, she used water on tissue paper to allow the dye of the tissue paper to transfer to the background paper. She then used tempera paint to paint her branch and cardinal and used oil pastels for her final details. Using various watercolor techniques, James Wood Middle School student Katrin Shoup painted this haunting owl. Working from a reference image, she first drew it lightly in pencil, then used a gradated wash to create the value chance in the background. Using the wet-on-wet -wet method, she painted feathers, eventually completing the many textures on this bird. Katrin is in 7th grade gifted art. Allison Jones, senior at James Wood High School, captures all the vibrant colors in her gouache painting of Goldie the Goldfish. She uses a cool blurred effect to show the fish popping out of the water. Allison's color palette and technique come together to create a gorgeous tropical painting. Fourth grader Juliana Vicchio worked on drawing an owl from observation for this artwork. She focused on using line and pattern as well as colored pencil gradations. The use of metallic marker creates a nice contrast with the colored pencil. Juliana is a student at Jordan Springs Elementary School. Mushroom Grove by Natalie Hubile is a colored pencil on black paper. 
Natalie, an eighth grade art student at Robert E. Ayler Middle School, layered several different colors to get this otherworldly effect. There are a few hidden surprises in her artwork, such as a stuffed bunny hiding amid the patterns. This mystical dragon incense burner was created by junior Janya Taylor at Millbrook High School. The Art 3 class used the method of subtraction to create sculpture vessel combinations. The details of the pieces were added with acrylic paint, lights, and a moss. The light can be turned on while the smoke of the incense flows down the falls while the white dragon watches over. Third grader Cole Gore learned all about Heather Galaire and her folk art patterned landscapes. He created his own landscape and filled it with bright colors and patterns. His goal was to make an abstract town that would be anything but ordinary in terms of shapes, colors, and characters. Cole is a student at Middletown Elementary School. This work of art titled Dream Portrait was created by seventh grade artist Jalen Grobner. Observation skills and knowledge of portrait proportions were used to start her image. After studying past and contemporary works, including surrealism and expressionism, Jalen added touches of color to complete this strong image. Jalen is a student at Admiral Richard E. Byrd Middle School. Yasmin Drawns, a junior in the Art 3 class at Chirando High School, created this watercolor and pen drawing of the Blenheim Palace. Inspired by the architecture and using her knowledge of linear perspective, Yasmin first drew out the palace, carefully observing her reference photo. She then experimented with layering watercolor, emphasizing watermarks and textures throughout the work. Using a white gel pen and a variety of micron pens, she finished the work by accenting the structure and details of the architecture. Fourth graders at Orchard View Elementary School used the creative process to create unique landscapes displaying depth, various tints, shades, intensities, and a pattern. Addie Garman decided to also explore the use of perspective and leading lines to create a mysterious figure towering over trees in the distance. After sketching out her idea, she mixed tempera paints and used colored pencils to add detail. Seiso Arami created this digital art piece using the sketchbook program and the fountain pen tool. His inspiration for this piece was taken from a specific Pokemon character from the Unova region. His use of movement in his lines and bold choice of colors, along with the layering, makes this a very dynamic composition. Seiso was a 7th grade student at Frederick County Middle School. Alyssa Rodriguez, junior at James Wood High School, has precise patience in her pen and ink drawing. She uses a stippling technique to achieve all the values in her piece.
Alyssa captures the likeness of her subject perfectly and shows advanced level drawing skills in her pen and ink masterpiece. Redbud Run Elementary School fifth grade artist painted monochromatic landscapes to show a feeling of depth or atmospheric perspective. Colors of objects appear lighter far away and brighter or darker up close. To achieve this effect, each student mixed a single color or hue with white, black, and gray to make tints, shades, and tones. This example was painted by Kennedy McCullough. James Wood Middle School student Natalie Chow sculpted this unique designer mug. She was inspired by the character Diona from the game Genshin Impact. The mug was built using the slab technique and the facial details are a variety of additive and subtractive styles. Natalie glazed it in many colors to accurately represent the character. Natalie is in seventh grade gifted art. Sophomore Angie Ramirez Batista found images from magazines and pieced them together to create this collaged artwork. Inspired by the surrealism art movement of the 1930s, Angie used techniques like scale change, dislocation, and juxtaposition to position an image of a person sleeping between different landscapes. By layering the images, she was able to create a dreamlike composition that catches the viewer's eye. Angie attends Millbrook High School. Third grader Sadie Kaufman created this Chinese-inspired vase from the Ming Dynasty. In this piece, Sadie used observational drawing skills to draw a Chinese-inspired dragon. The vase was finalized with the trademark blue that was used by the artist of the time, along with tissue paper cherry blossoms. Sadie is a student at Stonewall Elementary School. Superhero Debut by Tegan Cruz is a mixed media project where students had to create a superhero version of themselves. Tegan, a sixth grade art student at Robert E. Ayler Middle School, used colored pencils to create value and depth in her piece. Sarah Carter, a senior at Sharando High School in the AP Studio Art class, created this work titled Fragile in response to a portrait exploring identity. Painting on black paper with acrylic paint, she worked carefully to render the shapes and values necessary to capture the look of broken and fragmented three-dimensional pieces. Frederick County Public Schools celebrates the arts throughout the year with a variety of art shows, concerts, and dramatic performances. Please join us in supporting our students in all their artistic endeavors. <laughs>